So we also watched the Vice Dark Side of the Ring stuff, which uh, yes. this week was Dr. D. David Schultz. You guys probably so, know ooh. David Schultz as the guy on YouTube that slapped the reporter after he said yes. that wrestling's fake. <laughs> so I, I knew that's all I knew about him. Me too. I, yeah, did you guys it. know anything more about him than that? Nope, I did not. I didn't know like his WWF stuff. I didn't know any like I didn't even for some reason I don't think I even knew he was in WWF. I just knew yeah, him as I just the wrestler knew, I think that I just saw him. like was that on LimeWire maybe? No, I don't know if it was LimeWire, but I know Live I saw this cli- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> these clips were all over the internet. Yeah, it was every. Yeah, that's that's like a legendary thing. But like, I so I wasn't even gonna watch this episode. I mean, I watch all of Dark Side of the Ring, but I wasn't like too pressed to watch this one. I was like, okay, it's it's cool. Dark Side's cool. Um, but then like I was like, Tony was like, no, you should you should watch this one. I was you like, watch it, dude. It's I cool. was like, all right, I'll, I'll give it a try. Uh, yeah, because it was dope. And I'm so glad I did because this episode like. This might be my favorite episode of the season so far. I still haven't watched the Dino Bravo one, and I love the New Jack one, but, like, this one was, like, so much stuff that I didn't know, and the dude, like, them interviewing him the whole time, I feel like made it a lot better, too. Uh, he's yeah. a fucking maniac. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, he is. In, like, the best way, though. <laughs> dude, everyone in this episode is a maniac. All of them. Everybody. Dude, they're all... <laughs> everyone. Ev- every side is, like, so... No one was right the here. Top. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone is wrong, but I loved it. And yeah. it wouldn't be Dark Side of the Ring without them shooting. Shitting on the WWE and Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah, you love said, to see it, baby. You get what you get. He said, Vince said, go smack this motherfucker. <laughs> no, he, he pretty much, he, the, the story was that Vince said, listen, you got to go be your character. You know, give him your character. And he said, oh, I'll give it to him. And he said, you know what? What would, what would, uh, what yeah, he said, Dr. Vince, my what character is D shooting do? guns and beating my wife. So, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, there was one where, like, he said, what would my character do? And he said, my, my character would smack the fuck out of this guy right yeah. now. And I did. Yeah, there was like uh, I didn't know about the thing where like they did segments on TV where he was like being shitty to his family, and then the cops came <laughs> like about it. Like what? It the was fuck? it was right in the middle of like Vince trying to make this a cartoon, and uh, you know the NWA being a protected business sort of. You know, I mean, so like, Dave old Schultz is like thing. an old school guy where he was born up like, yo, this is kayfabe. You don't ever do anything that's not kayfabe. He was in that world, so he protected the biz like hundred percent. So. Yeah. He had that gimmick where he was beating his family or whatever. Dude, <laughs> He's telling his, his kids, like, you get the hell out of here and you go do your homework right now and don't yeah, look at me, dude. boy, twice or you won't get any dinner. And the, then... kids, the kids smiled at him and said, don't you fucking smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was so, like, strong in the cave babe, that the cops came and they, like, and what checked was the on na- him. What was the name of the guy that did the, uh, like, expose? Not, not the reporter. What was the wrestler's name? Eddie Mansfield. Uh, yes, 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 Eddie. Uh... Dude, I didn't like. I didn't know about that, and I also didn't know he just bladed on TV, like, like that blatantly, ruled. like, whoa. I mean, it's gigging. He didn't even a match. That yeah, ruled. like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, that like, kind of crazy. Dude, wrestlers just aren't billets anymore, and it, and, it, and it truly like that's like I said, everyone in this episode is crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. But that's what made it so fun. Um, is that like dudes like wrestlers just don't feel like this anymore, you know? And I don't even think David Schultz is like a. Uh, I don't even think he was like a bad dude or anything. Um, oh. He, the dude, got into. I love the. I love the story about how he got into wrestling. He got into wrestling because he watched it on TV and said that was so hard. So he, <laughs> so he had he has Herb Welch, which is this old. I mean, talking about from the the circus day of wrestling, like an old carny, like running shows of the circus ass dude. And he's like, yeah. yeah, I will train you, man. So he goes over and they, Herb takes you into the barn. He beats a living fuck out of you there's no wrestling here he just beats you up and yeah. uh he, he didn't even know that wrestling was a work until he started working with other wrestlers and they're like herb why is this dude beating me up <laughs> and i was like what? this rules oh my yeah, god i love stories awesome. like that um, i'm sure that like he would have rather not gotten his ass kicked every day for months but it you know it made for a great story this definitely made me want to go see like i don't think i've ever seen one of his matches um, I have. I don't think I have either, actually. No. Nah. So I kind of want to see like, what was he like? If if it if it looks like he was actually beating the shit out of people. I mean, obviously I bet he learned did. later on, but yeah. like, was he still snug? You know what I mean? It uh, had to be the fucking John Stossel story where he's like, uh, the WWF. I think it was WWF's like, uh, doc. He would like had to get checked out by their doctor. <laughs> I love that. And he was like, the doctor was like, I don't. I don't remember what the term was. But he says, "I think that you're have this condition where, uh, you know, you're still feeling pain from this slap because you're in litigation right now. You're being sued, so you know, you're, just, you're still holding on to this." The because, doctor you know, kayfabed you, him. 
yeah, you're in the lost right now. He said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so he leaves. And then he's like saying, okay, well, eventually, you know, a few years later, we settled 280 grand. And he said, you know, I don't know if that's an actual you know, condition that people can have, like if they hold on to pain uh, because they're in, you know, a lawsuit. But I will say uh, my pain did slowly start going away <laughs> after I got paid. <laughs> what a piece of shit. So Air pretty much confirming. Yeah. That that's what it was. Everybody here sucks. <laughs> So, <laughs> dude, I, I love the John Stossel stuff, though, with, like, uh, him training and then I'm him surprised it got him on the show. I've, I thought that was real cool. Yeah and, yeah, and when he was taking the bumps or whatever, he's like, he got right up after, I think uh, he got, Eddie Mansfield was, he jumped off the top rope and then John Stossel gets up. He's like, see, that didn't hurt at all. And yeah. I'm just like, what a He gave him the fan. old elbow off the top, man. The yeah, um, Schultz, like, shits on Hogan, like, randomly throughout the episode. I, I was like, hell yeah, keep going with that. Run with that. <laughs> he said he's got a big head. Hogan didn't like when I said he got a big head. <laughs> Ed, yeah, so Eddie Mansfield is this dude who, like, he's he a total mark for himself. Um, yeah. But he ended up exposing the business because Vince McMahon didn't want to give him health care. So I can't really shit on that too much. Sure. Um, but, like... It was definitely like I feel like he tries to make it sound like he was for the boys. And he oh, he, yeah, I, I think. I that, mean, he yeah. had a weird line that he was like, you know, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, but he didn't free the pro wrestlers. Like, all right, dude. Not only like, did he say that line, dude, he said that you know, there's something I used to say back in the day. I'm like, <laughs> what did you used to say back in the day, Eddie? Yeah, I bet you did. He said Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. But he forgot to free pro wrestlers. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, what? Are you trying to say that you were a slave? <laughs> Wrestlers are slaves. Yeah, I was like, huh? Okay. Like, well, I mean, that's... sure, yeah, unionized for sure. But also, like, he was that. Like, if Vince would have paid him more, he would have shut the fuck up and never did any of that. Yeah, I was definitely down for him uh, exposing the biz because Vince said no health care. I was like, yeah, get him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Eddie Mansfield goes on, uh, he goes on TV and like they have an expose with John Stossel and he does all the moves to him and everything and then he blades. Yeah, I was like, damn, I did not expect him to blade. And uh, that was he cut, fucking he cut crazy. The, uh, yeah, he cut the blade up and everything, showed him how to cut it up, and then he showed him how they put it on their finger, and then they cut themselves on the forehead, and he said it's just a... I also, I mean, I've, I've heard of it, but, like, wrestlers hiding blades in their mouth sounds like the fucking no worst clue. idea I want to learn how to do that, because I, I have no clue how that works. Yeah, teach me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll teach you once I know. Thing in the world. I'm going to come in, I'm just going to have, like, a joker slash through my mouth. Yeah, so that didn't work. <laughs> 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 um, so David Schultz slaps a reporter and it's funny because I love this story so he slaps a reporter and then immediately goes out for a match with Antonio Inoki who is the ultimate slapper <laughs> the Inokiism was built on the slap uh, yeah. he lost to Inoki of course um, which is this whole time is crazy because like the WF is working with people overseas and stuff and like they're bringing in the great Sasuke yeah. and like this whole thing like, they're working with FMW and they're like yeah you go to Japan and work for you know FMW yeah, they... and they sent him away because they're like, okay, well, this shit's getting hot. Maybe we should send you away. Vince sends him to Japan to wrestle. Yep. And then in Japan, they're like, all right, we're going to do a thing where you beat up a reporter. <laughs> He's like, all right, I wanted in the script because he doesn't, you know, he didn't want people to think it was like a shoot. Yeah. He's like, okay. Uh, and then they do it. And then the fucking like news runs with it saying, oh, like, just like this motherfucker did in America. <laughs> He's beating up reporters here. He didn't even say anything <laughs> after that. He just said, Mm. (laughs) 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 all right please write a script so everyone knows it's not a shoot yeah for sure dude he does it yo it's a shoot (laughs) (laughs) i had no idea about this mr t thing though what was the one about mr t so hogan like i guess invited mr t to be like in the front row at a show yeah and uh this was they gave two different stories for this yeah i don't know what like so the the one that's like I don't know if he actually hit some or not, but one of the stories was that he's backstage and uh, Vince tells somebody to go to him and say, listen, if you interact, if you do anything with Mr. T, don't do anything with Mr. T. You better stay away from him or you're fired. And David Mm -hmm. Schultz goes, all right, fire me. (laughs) And then he goes out. I don't know if he actually does it or not, but one of the stories was he just smacks (laughs) Mr. T. That was was the the Hogan story. (laughs) Okay. That was the Hogan story, which... I don't believe one fucking word. I want word. to believe it because it sounds fucking hilarious. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. <laughs> I, probably, so. I don't believe it, but damn, yeah. I wish yeah, that would happen. No way that happened. Hogan randomly in 2019 came out and said, yeah, so uh, David Schultz slapped the piss out of Mr. T <laughs> in 2019 on the Steve Austin show. What are you talking about, man? This has sure. never, ever been said ever. And then in 2019... Yeah, fuck David Schultz, by the way, up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this He's like, got a big head. Yeah, what in the world, man? Um, Stossel ended up Hogan just being Hogan. 
No, I so know. That's the, what I'm the saying. The other part did happen, right? That was like that was Schultz's story where the somebody told him that he said, you know, fire me. That part. Yeah, Stossel got fired by Chief Jay Strongbow because Vince just said, you know, if you want, if you need to fire Schultz, um, because he's going out there, then just fire him. Um, yeah. and he said, okay, and he said, fire me. He said, bye. <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah. What are you gonna do? Fire me, guy that got fired. <laughs> I also, I want to. I gotta find. Hopefully, someone has this uploaded somewhere. I really want to see his bounty hunter show. Like, I don't know what that's. About. Yeah, it was in Japan. I it need was, to see this. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but yeah, like th this is all chicken shit. I mean, like this whole thing was crazy. Like it was. Yeah. This was very much in the time in between kayfabe and yes, Vince McMahon wrestling. Good guys and. Bad yeah, guys. and like <laughs> it was like the way that David Schultz got played was was dumb. It was obviously like that they just didn't like him because like they even explained it like Hogan did the same the Hogan, exact shit yes. that he did, probably worse. Choked out a dude on TV, and then his head just <laughs> on the ground. And he's like, had a good, uh, sorry had about a good that, line about it. He said, "Oh, we're well, not gonna fire Hogan. Hogan could have went out and shot this dude in the head, and he would have been not fired." <laughs> <laughs> now someone's gonna make the Joker 2019 movie with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Adrenaline. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he just sit in the seat and just pops in head. Oh. That meme is so good. Who made Can that? you the Joker? Can we get you to do the Hogan voice with the Joker lines, please? <laughs> no. yeah. I'll save that. I That'll be a stretch goal. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, Vince ends up exposing the business anyways, and well, guess what? Schultz did the same thing, but he lost his entire career for it. So just it was it was just bad timing the, for him. I think that one of the best parts was that the uh, Schultz had a picture of Hogan, and on the back it said "old friend forgot his name." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ruled. That was pretty good. He smiled. And it was too. it's crazy to think that Schultz was probably going to be in WrestleMania one. Like when you think about yeah. it, yeah, yeah, he was. He That's what sure they said. Like he probably would have been like who knows Paul how long he would have stuck around. Right? Yeah, who, who yeah, knows how long so. he would have stuck around for? Honestly. Yeah, I definitely think he would have been in Orndorff spot. I think so too. That's insane, dude, to think about that. Yeah, that is. Uh, it was a fun episode of Dark Side of the Ring. Very uh, good episode. Highly David, right. I would just a ton, one out. just a ton of B roll of David Schultz with guns, just hanging out. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> the bounty hunter show. I, we got to find that somewhere. Yeah, yeah we got to watch that. that episode of that. We'll do I would that love for, to do, we'll like do that for something going to happen. With that. Yeah, something's Something gonna happen, happen with uh, <laughs> David Schultz Japanese <laughs> bounty hunting show. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, this review cool. I'm, I'm reading it says, "I love this. This is easily the most enjoyable episode of the season, part because there was no murder, no attempted murder, and nothing too dark." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. 